person moving ahead so when the patient comes again what do you focus at in the third visit okay so first of all when the patient comes to you and you have spent so much of time in analyzing diary and you made a diagnosis and you have given treatment and then first then patient comes to you and still says doctor i am having frequency still then you have to scratch your head you must review the response to the medication where you gone wrong what is the reason is the medication not effective or patient is actually compliant with the therapy or not most patients of frequency uh, uh, are compliant with their treatment because they suffer because of that and then if you think that the therapy that you have given has been for some reason suboptimal or less effective you can give an additional therapy for example if you want anti muscarinic you can change to other anti muscarinic right sir if you want anti muscarinic you can now these days add beta agonistic medication right sir you can stop up the medication that's what i mean by saying additional therapy but here more important is to interrogate the patient with that idea that is this patient one who needs more imaging do i need to look at the shape and size of urinary bladder or the entire urinary tract yes so then you advise a specialized imaging yes the mcu for the urinary fluid urogram sometimes these days you want to see the entire urinary tract i mean you see the urography particularly in patients of tuberculosis i find the urography very very useful yes and then if you suspect spinal disease in the patient ask for mr mri spine or the brain so this is specialized imaging don't hesitate in doing this at this point of time because your patient not responding and then the urodynamic study here if you think the patient has urgency part and urgency part is not settling in the treatment then you have to document that is it really a genuine urodynamically proven get uh, to the instability or not yes so lots of things you need to know by a good diagnosis so at this stage i would like to do these tests so often what i see that often the big you some prescribe some medication but it is difficult for the patient to change the lifestyle so they are still drinking lots of water they are still doing all those things yeah, yeah. that they were doing for so many years and you have just written one drug so we need to see whether you know they have also changed their lifestyle so you can you can always tell them to drink another diet yes and that's what i do and the best thing you do is is there another diary and the first diary uh, diary before treatment and diary after treatment and when they compare with them then so happy and if their output is still high on second better diary you can tell them yes you are not doing well with your lifestyle or the take of therapy do that again so the diary becomes you know is a kind of an incentive for the patient to follow it it's like ipss you IPSS. You, you you get it in the initial visit you prescribe pres- alpha blockers and then you see the response you know you, know, you can have a objective response objective response is yes, absolutely right. so uh, moving on to the next uh, question what evaluation you consider if the patient has not done well and comes to you for the fourth visit so if the patient is fine and you know otherwise the patient is still unsatisfied with come to you for the fourth visit here here the patient come back with the imaging reports yes here the patient come back with urodynamic reports response to second line of therapy response to everything that you told yes like lifestyle change fluid regulation and here probably is a case where you need to consider these therapies either interventional therapies and i just listed them for sake of uh, putting them on block what i mean by word interventional therapy say for example hydrocephalic bladder yes. for patient of ic or botox yes. or a fat fever at the bladder or a tibial nerve stimulation or a fat fever or at the bladder and uh, if that is also not patient liking or you are not very uh, happy about these two facilities then you consider uh, surgical options say for example treating bladder of obstruction stricter treatment or whatever a treat stone treat cancer bladder and in rare rare situation rarest of all i have done patients for augmentation system as here this is done mostly in neurogenic setting yes neurogenic setting the upper tract start getting compromised and you need to do augmentation so uh, friends uh, before i end the talk i want to highlight to you don't consider interventional therapies surgical therapies till you have done proper imaging of the urinary tract neural system 
or even the urodynamic evaluation and some patients cystoscopic examination not everybody but some patients will have cystoscopy if we consider these therapies so uh, thank you very much for your patient listening and uh, i just shared with you the way i treat my patients and the way prof dr pulo also treat the patient and if you have, if you have questions on the floor we will be happy to pick them up so thank you sir for this presentation which was rich in experience actually your experience of treating so many patients